Hey, this is Scott from Harvest Helper. Today I'm going to show you guys how to properly put your bags on. So, if you're doing wet trimming, you only need this thicker bag. It's the one with the rubber collar like this. And it's got the bigger micron holes, okay? Different than this one, which is a softer material, does not have the rubber lining on the neck. You see that? And it has smaller micron holes, okay? You can also find a tag on these too that'll tell you the actual micron. Pull out the tag if you need to, to make sure you've got the right mesh or micron. See, it's right here. 80 mesh, 300 microns. So this is your bag that you're gonna have on the outside. The reason being, or I'm sorry, the bag you're gonna have on the inside. Reason being, this is the bag that catches your leaf. If you're doing dry trimming, this is gonna be on the outside. If you're only doing wet trimming, you're only gonna have this bag. You don't even need this bag. Okay, so. When you're putting the bag on, it almost helps to just open this top bag a little bit and then you can see underneath because you have to line it up the same way. You want to line up these loops to this side and make sure that this is lined up for that, okay? And you can just run it right through the middle like this. Run it through the outside of this bag right here and through there. And then it connects to these ones, okay? See, it's a little bit easier when this outside bag's open to see what you're doing here. That way you can connect these collars to right there. Tighten up on that. Put this one over this, okay? Real important, because it's got to catch the keef. Bottom bag's catching the leaf, top bag's catching the keef when you're doing dry trimming. Again, if you're doing wet trimming, don't need this top bag, okay? Now that you got it lined up on that side, you're good to go on that side. So then you just do the same thing to the other side. If you have to, turn this a little bit instead of bending it and breaking your thing, Just Pick it up and turn it like that a little bit to get it where you need it to be. Feed it through. Make sure you start with the first loop. Feed it through. And the second one, okay? And put it where it needs to be. Zip it up. And you're ready to go.